It was a busy holiday weekend at the oceanfront. Lifeguards reunited 60 kids with their families and rescued 18 swimmers in distress. Tragically, two people drowned near Shore Drive. Today, 10 on your sides, Amy Avery has new information about the man who died. Amy? Well, Stephanie, family members are too devastated right now to go on camera, but they tell me 44-year-old Ryan Neal was a father and was always doing something on the weekends, whether it was canoeing, fishing, or hitting the beach. His girlfriend told me she was inches away from him when he went under and says she hopes people will be more careful on the water, especially near the sandbars. Two drownings within miles of each other just hours apart on Shore Drive. 12-year-old Zamari Wilson and 44-year-old Brian Neal. Family members say Neal just moved to the area from Minnesota to be closer to his daughter. His girlfriend tells 10 on your side they were walking on a sandbar when it happened. Virginia Beach Life Saving Service says a lot of people like to walk on the sandbars, but they can be dangerous. There's troughs that actually build up when it comes into high tide and you can't touch anymore and that can actually cause people to get into some trouble. Lifeguard Colby Chamberlain was on duty this weekend at the oceanfront when 18 people were saved. One of those saves was his own. I tried to whistle her in because she was starting to swim out too far and she started freaking out, started climbing the ladder and we got to her and gave her the buoy and she was okay. Chief of Virginia Beach Life Saving Service Tom Gill says lifeguards are trained to see the danger and they can either keep people from getting into the danger or if they're already in it, they'll be able to find a solution to help get them out of it. A lot of times the lifeguards see the people in the rip currents and are coming after them before they even realize they need to be helped. Gill says it's especially important to never swim alone and always swim near a lifeguard. Every day, every hour, every minute, it's changing. Tide levels are changing, the currents are changing, the winds shift. Now, Gill says it's important to be aware of where the waves are breaking if you are in an area without a lifeguard because the waves break on shallow areas. But again, it's always better to swim in an area that has a lifeguard. Now, there's also a, Go a GoFundMe set up to help get Ryan's body back to Minnesota, where he's from. We'll link that at wavy.com. Amy Avery, 10 on your side.